Hey guys, how are you today? This is Jim Prusak. I'm a physical therapist at the PMPT, and we're going to continue to talk about chronic pain and chronic health symptoms and how you can dive deeper into your healing. And today we're going to talk about emotions and the emotional aspect of chronic symptoms. I've talked already a lot in other videos about how the limbic brain, in particular the amygdala, has been very highly associated with chronic pain and chronic symptoms, and that this amygdala is the center of negative emotions. It processes fear, anger, sadness, grief, and even positive emotions as well. But we're going to focus today on how negative emotions can actually come out in your body as physical symptoms, and this is what Dr. Sarno talked about in many of his best-selling books how unconscious negative emotions manifest as physical somatic symptoms. Now, what he was saying years ago, 30, 40 years ago, has actually been proven to be true. We've got a number of research studies showing that emotional suppression, or what we call lexithymia, which is difficulty in identifying and expressing emotions, which about 50% of people with chronic pain have, these people are susceptible to having increased somatic symptoms when emotion is generated, but it's not being expressed. Okay, so lexithymic people misinterpret their somatic symptoms as physical problems or physical health issues when it actually they're emotions. People who suppress their emotions don't even know they're having emotions, and they can also come out as physical symptoms. So we have clear scientific evidence to show this. And so what we need to do is to learn to go back and become a detective and learn to identify our emotional feelings that may have been a precipitating factor in our physical symptoms. So for example, and I see this a lot with the people I work with just today with working with the client, he had a trigger of some increased symptoms in his body clearly emotional, not physical or structural in nature. And as we went through his history and looked at the trigger, it turns out he was really feeling some anxiety and some anger. Okay, so fear and anger were the two emotions that were arising for him. He had subsequent physical somatic symptoms that developed later. Now I asked him, what were the symptoms you're having in your body? The physical symptoms. Well, I had some tremoring or a shaking feeling sort of a like this in my hand and that worried him that it could be some neurological disorders or disease now what is shaking what is a shakiness what is a tingling type stuff that's fear okay that's how fear feels in the body it's a shaky energy so he's to me is describing fear i said okay what else were you experiencing well I had a burning pain in my thigh, a burning pain that was going down my leg. Oh, okay. Well, what's burning represent? Burning represents anger. Okay, so we are actually using a lot of time, people are describing to me their physical symptoms in emotional words, and we can link that back to the trigger and say, wait, you are feeling your emotions, but you're feeling them physically through your symptoms. This is called alexithymia or suppression. So what we want to do is get in touch directly with the emotions that we're feeling, okay, and come in contact with them and identify and acknowledge and label the emotional word that we're feeling. I'm feeling anxious and this is my, must be causing my symptoms. I'm feeling angry about XYZ and this has caused my symptoms to flare up. I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling disappointed now there's many offshoots of those three primary negative emotions, sadness, anger, and fear. Many offshoots, so you can have a little version, I'm aggravated, I'm annoyed, I'm irritated, I feel inflamed. There's a version of anger, I feel guilt, I feel remorse, I feel despair, some sadness, I feel anxious, I feel on edge, I feel like I can't relax fear, terrified. So we have these emotions. What we need to learn to do is get in touch with them, 
label them directly, see if you can feel them in your body, okay? Maybe they're coming out through your symptoms, but get in touch with the quality of the emotion and name it, label it, acknowledge it, feel it. Okay, this is starting to get you to drain your amygdala and sort of quiet that emotional brain that we know is linked with pain, chronic pain, linked with a lot of different disorders. Now this amygdala has really been shown to be highly linked with physical stuff now, but it's the emotional center of the brain. So it 100% proves Dr. Sarno's work. So I want you guys to get in touch with your emotions. And remember, a lot of people I work with day in and day out, I ask them, how are you feeling about this? Now, they don't tell me the word. They don't tell me the emotional word. They go on with the story. This happened and that happened and blah, blah, blah. But sometimes people have a difficulty in expressing and identifying their emotions. This is, again, lalexithymia. 50% of people in chronic pain have it, and there's a good chance you may have it as well or a, a version of it. Or you may be suppressing emotions. You don't even know it. But again, they're coming out in some way they come out as physical symptoms, so they leak out in different directions. So if you know you did not hurt yourself, you did not physically injure yourself, I want you to move to your emotions and see if there was some stressor or some stress occurring that created an emotion in your brain, which then created a pain in your body or symptom in your body through your amygdala. Okay, so let me know guys how you do with this. Put your comments, questions here. If you need help in this area, this is what I do. I try to link you up to your emotions, get you more in touch with your emotional feelings so that you can work to calm your amygdala, calm your limbic brain, and ultimately calm your symptoms. Take care, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.